Hey guys, this is Skylar. I am completely blind. I am autistic and I have a chronic heart condition. If you hear any noise in the background, that's just my mom. I'm here to talk about a product right beside me that I've never had before. Most people in the U.S. probably haven't heard of this before either. Um, it's called Bovrite. I'll show it. Sorry, that was the dog. I'll show it to you right now. Step back. This is what it is. And for those of you who don't know, this is kind of a spin-off of Bovril. See, in the UK, they have this thick beef paste. It's called Bovril. B-O-V-R-I-L. And somebody, well, Bovril cannot be um, imported here in the USA because of BSE. Bovine spongiform encephalopathy or mad cow disease. So somebody from the U.S. invented Bovrite, B-O-V-R-I-T-E, which is sold in the U.S. Now they say um, in both, in both the real Bovril and the kind of knockoff, spinoff Bovrite, they both can be consumed three ways. You can, uh, you can dilute a tea, a teaspoon of it in hot water in a mug of hot water and drink it I did that yesterday it was really good you can spread it on bread toast or crackers exhibit A exhibit A or you can take like uh, like if you're making a soup or a stew or gravy you can add it to that to add flavor now the hot water method one teaspoon in a mug of hot water that tastes really good that tastes like beef stew uh, minus the stew <laughs> so just imagine you're eating beef stew without all the lumps without the carrots potatoes meat lumps anything it's just the robust beef flavored juices left behind by the beef stew that's what this tastes like when you mix one teaspoon of it with hot water like just be like beef stew juice or beef stock um also one thing that i will have you know is it's very salty almost as salty as soy sauce so you don't really need much you really really don't and on a piece of bread, which is what I have now, it's actually really good. I actually just made this. I heated it up in the microwave until it was really stiff. Excuse me, it's a on my fingers. Now, I didn't put much because, like I say, you don't need much because it's very salty. But, like, I can taste it on the bread. It actually tastes good. It's really not that bad. It's not overpowering. Only thing is that I didn't do it properly. Like, most of these ites, they say you can spread on bread, which this one you also can. But they say you're supposed to add marjoram before you add like butter or margarine before you add the ites but we didn't have any so <laughs> I just scaringly bovralized this piece of toast and it actually is pretty good actually it's not toast it's just bread that I heated up in the microwave it's actually pretty good because like I can taste the beef flavor on here but it's not like overpoweringly salty. Like I don't feel like I'm downing a whole entire bottle of soy sauce.
like when you dilute it in hot water, one teaspoon to a mug of hot water, you cannot taste the salt at all. Now, one thing I'll also have you know is that it is very runny. This is very runny, which is why I'm not taking the lid off. And so like when you're dispensing it or like measuring it or spreading it on whatever, bread toast or crackers um, or whatever you wanna do, just be careful with this because this is very runny, which is why I'm not taking the lid off, which is because I'm scared to. I don't wanna get this all over my floor. <laughs> It is kind of runny, so be, be wary of that. Also, it is salty, so don't go put in 99 teaspoons of it. So, I mean, unless you're trying to feed an army. <laughs> so just, if you're doing it, if you're going to drink it in hot water, do one teaspoon to a mug of hot water. If you're going to spread it on bread, what I just did is I just took a little spoon and I just dipped it. Like, I would say a quarter size amount was on there. It kind of just spread it around in a circular motion with the back of the spoon so um yeah you, you really truly 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 do not need much uh, some bovril facts bovril was invented by a scotman scotsman sorry named john lawson johnston he originally wanted to call it johnson johnston's fluid beef but somewhere somehow the name was changed to bovril uh, in the UK, obviously. In the UK, Bovril is very, I've heard it being described as black and gloopy. Because basically they just take cow meat and uh, like boil it down until it makes like a sludge. So that's what I've heard. And um, it's been used like a lot, you know, they use it basically in three ways. The to add it to soups, to drink it, or spread it on bread or toast. So, um, I am learning more, you know, about Bovril because it's one of my favorite words. In case you haven't seen my other video, I made a video about how I wanted to try Bovril and stuff like that. And because Bovril is one of my favorite words, but since I can't have it in the USA, I thought I'd have no choice but to settle for the spinoff or knockoff brand, Bovrite. Now, I don't know how it compares to Bovril because I've obviously never had Bovril because I'm in the USA. But this Bovrite is really, really good on toast and um, with the hot water, one teaspoon and a mug of hot water. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video and God bless.